So there was a big Alex Albon contract release rumor with two teams approaching Alex Albon to join their team before his contract at Williams ends. This made me wonder which two specific teams that could be and if those teams would be a good fit for the friendly Thai British driver. Let's look at the possibilities and ponder about them a little bit. I'm Wimbo, here's 3 seconds to leave a like. The Rumor Many F1 news outlets have reported that Alex Albon is reportedly keen to break free from his contract at Williams. Two teams have already tried to pry him away from James Fowles and Williams but have failed so far. His contract should see him secured at Williams until 2025 but we all know that contracts mean nothing in Formula 1. If a big team is determined to get him, they'll get it done. Especially if the driver in question wants it too. The 2024 silly season will be epic and Alex Albon will be a key player in it, no doubt about it. The only thing that's on my mind right now is which two teams have tried so far and if they'd be good for Alex Albon. Team 1 Let's start with the most obvious team, Oracle Red Bull Racing. Albon started his career at Red Bull where he had a pretty rocky history even as a junior driver. Where he was in the Red Bull Junior program and then out, to be back in again. Then he made his debut for Toro Rosso, was promoted quickly to the Red Bull team and then was demoted to reserve driver for the 2021 season after a disappointing 2020 season. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has spoken very positively about Alex Albon on different occasions and that perhaps they misjudged how bad the 2020 car was and how Max Verstappen made that car look better than it actually was. In the F1 podcast he was asked about Albon getting back into Red Bull and Horner said a few remarkable things. I remember we were struggling at the time with Alex Albon because he had come in too soon and we just needed somebody. Yeah, he's brilliant, he's fantastic and he did a fantastic job for us when he stepped down to be test driver. He never complained, he never moaned, he put in the hours and I was really happy that I was able to find him a seat in Williams and he's found his form. He's got the experience now, he's toughened for sure and he's hot property again. Now if I hear these positive comments from Christian Horner, I'd say the door is wide open for a return. That raises the next question, whether that's a good idea or not. I personally love for narratives to go full circle and a Red Bull Redemption for Albon would be awesome. But that would get in the way of the Daniel Ricciardo Red Bull Redemption arc though. Seeing how the experienced Checo Perez struggles next to the three-time world champion Verstappen, who's to say Albon would do better? Chances are that he'd fall into the same pit as he was in 2020, where the sensitivity of the car made him lose his confidence, which spiraled his performance down. I wouldn't want that for the super nice and decent bloke, so I'll stick with what Dr. Helmut Marko said in an interview about Alex Albon. It gets brought up a lot, but unfortunately Albon signed a long-term contract and won't be on the market until probably 2026. Max's teammate was a very tough and difficult life, Albon has already had his chance. The probability of Alex Albon returning to Red Bull is 3 out of 5 bags of money. Let's see which other team have tried to get Albon to race for them. Team 2 The second team that I find likely to have informed for Albon's services is Scuderia Ferrari. Italian media reported in July that Fred Vasseur has approached Alex Albon to replace Carlos Sainz after the 2024 season. It is said to be an unconfirmed rumor, but a credible rumor. Obviously, credible rumors are always a good thing to go by. If we look at the situation of Sainz at Ferrari, there's definitely something going on there. Ferrari has only offered him a one-year deal, while he wants a two-year deal. According to Gazzetta della Sport, Charles Leclerc has bumped up his contract with the team from Maranello for five years until 2029. It seems they are not afraid to agree on long-term contracts, but with Sainz, it's different. Carlos Sainz is strongly linked to Audi, with his father driving rallies with Audi. It's also possible Ferrari is eyeing up different talent like Norris for instance. For this video's sake, let's go with Ferrari looking to employ Alex Albon. How well would he fit there? I'd say it's quite a culture shock for a kid who's brought up in England to deal with the Italian temperament. At Williams his package is limited but the strategies are pretty spot on usually. Just don't let anyone pass you. With Ferrari comes an awful lot of pressure and he's praised for what he's showing at Williams but how quickly will things turn if the results at Ferrari are a bit below par? I say that it's possible that the rumours are true but I don't think Ferrari is a good fit for our friendly lover of pets. 
I think the probability of Alex Albon going to a Ferrari is 2 out of 5 bags of money. Let's look at another option, Team 3. How about Aston Martin? Fernando Alonso is still doing great, but in 2025 he'll be 44 or something. That's as old as I was 2 years ago. That team could do with a new team leader then, a talented, experienced driver that is easy to get along with. It would be a step up from Williams, who are making progress, but I doubt we'll see them fighting for podiums consistently anytime soon. He could also be brought in alongside of Fernando Alonso. I heard that with Aramco being the new main sponsor of Aston Martin, Lawrence Stroll doesn't have the power to keep his son Lance in that seat forever anymore. That would be a nice lineup too, Alex and Fernando. Aston Martin is very ambitious, but the expectations are quite a bit lower than at Red Bull or Ferrari. People would be content to see him close to the Spanish two-time world champion, or even beat him a few times. Thinking about it, I think Aston Martin is quite a good fit for him. But without any credible rumors, just my vibes, the probability of Albon going to Aston Martin is only one out of five bags of money. Even though Lawrence Stroll has loads of bags filled with money. Team 4 and 5 the next two teams are very unlikely to have tried to pry Alex Albon away from Williams. They already have strong lineups and drivers with decent contracts. I'm of course talking about Mercedes and McLaren. Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri are all better or equal to Alex Albon. So unless one of those guys retires, there's no opening. Well, why do you mention them then? Let me explain. For Albon to move away from a team that is clearly very happy with him, there needs to be a sportive motive. McLaren and Mercedes are both stronger teams than Williams Racing. That's why I need to include them in the mystery of solving who contacted Albono. The probability of Alex Albon moving to McLaren or Mercedes is only one out of five bags of money. Other teams. As I mentioned earlier, I find it highly unlikely for Albon to move to a lower midfield team. He doesn't strike me as someone who's in it for the money. He rocked the world in his karting days and I'm sure he has the ambition to win races again. So a new team needs to be a step up. This is why I'm not mentioning teams like Alpine, Stake or Haas, as they are worse teams than Williams. And I think he's done with the Red Bull sister team, no matter what name they have in 2024. So which team do you think approached Albon? Or do you think it's all a bunch of nonsense? Just to add to his market value. Do you know what adds to my market value? Subscribing. Take care now. Doei doei. A special thanks to my channel members. Your help is much appreciated. If you want to support this channel too, click the link down below.